Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'm so excited to show you because it's my second radius manager that I'm working on and it's working perfectly fine. And trust me, I'm like more interested in this one than DMS soft lab because that is so complicated. Okay, so first I installed in my previous video and you saw that that was like super easy process like anybody who is non-technical can install that software, okay? And then after that you just need to type the IP address and the portal is here, right? So what I did just for the testing uh, purpose and I was like uh, it's gonna take a while uh, meanwhile, I'm testing this one and uh, then I will create video tomorrow, but I'm creating the video same day. Trust me because it was super easy. So first I went to see the services. That's the first thing you should see. So that's under the profile. So if you go to a profile list, you can create a profile and I will create uh, like more videos on this one, like how you can create profiles and other stuff. But this one is just for the testing. So I'm just showing you the configurations. So you just need to uh, click on actions and then new and then uh, enter the password, enter the IP address of your Microtik, enter the sh um, uh, shared secret and that's it. You don't need to uh, change anything else. You just submit and then OK. In the next upcoming videos, I will share other stuff as well because it's so interesting and super easy. And under users, you just go to the uh, actions and then uh, create a new user so the problem so far I have seen it's uh, I would say it's not a problem because of the security reasons they put that feature in this one like you can create a user but you cannot delete that you can edit that user that's another feature like if, if you have a user you can edit the service edit the username as well like you can transfer a user to another one but you cannot delete one okay so I uh, added this one uh, uh, the username is this and you can see the password as well and uh, the amazing features which are like in the latest version of dma like you can add more stuff like uh, geographics and and uh, yeah so i created this one and i added the nest that's two things i did on the sas server that's it that's it for sas okay and then I went to Microtech. I created a PPPoE server. And if you guys don't know how to create a PPPoE server, please go back to my videos and you can learn from there. It's super easy. Okay, so I created the PPPoE server. I enabled uh, the PPPoE server using uh, uh, the authentication using the Radius Manager. And then I added the Radius Manager here. You can see for PPPoE hotspot, and that's the IP address of uh, the not DMA, I was about to say DMA, the SAS uh, radius manager and I set the timeout services PPPoE and hotspot. Okay, let me go back to the PPPoE and let me show you there is no secret, right? I just configured PPPoE server for the LAN and uh, there is no uh, secrets created. And I have a test PC right here. Let's uh, create a PPPoE connection go back to network and sharing center set up a new connection connect to the internet dsl PPP. okay so the username is talha and the password was test one two three four this and i'm gonna sh remember the password and then it's gonna be sas4 you can type in there anything or just leave it as it is it doesn't matter okay and then you click on connect see how fast is this one i can't believe trust me i was like dma is the father of any other radius server but no this one is amazing maybe there might be more but this one is like literally i love this one because it's so easy so i'm gonna start doing some browsing this page was open already so let's click on download now i'm downloading ubuntu just for testing like how the internet speed is and other stuff so you can see it's downloading it's two gigs but it's gonna take nine minutes okay so let's go back and see the interface of this one so I'm gonna go to dashboard so it says total user there are one online user so it's showing online user as well and it's showing the online user I only have one so 
and also you can see your disk usage your memory usage your cpu load like i would say this one is amazing like you can see anything in the portal okay and uh, then i'm gonna go back to the user lists okay so previously it was green this sign was green so green means your user is active but when oh, once i created uh the username the, that talha username it was in expired state so i went into the action like uh, selected that and then clicked on activate yeah i remember that i clicked on activate and it asked me to add the credits so it was already set 20 dollars uh, in the profile so i added that one and boom there you go that that's it it's that easy and other services what i noticed in this one uh, i'm not sure i'm gonna practice on this one but i was looking at this one to see the uh, live traffic but it's not showing any live traffic but if you see the daily traffic it's showing here like uh, so far i have used 877 uh, and i refreshed it and it's showing 1.1 gig so you can see this one is amazing so that's it for today's video i'm gonna see you in my next video and there is going to be a series of sas radius i'll see you in the next video bye bye and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel